And around here right now, we've had kind of May-like weather. Ooh. It's been nice and warm and toasty. And toasty, muggy. Going to continue to be that way. That's right. We've had some storm warnings issued later in the last hour. Yes, and they're to the north. So we'll start with Live Doppler 13 radar and, of course, cover the heat, too. We've got you covered on this Thursday evening. We'll start with Live Doppler 13 radar to analyze the storms. Threat for hail and damaging winds. The one for Wabash County, that storm is now coming out of Manchester, heading toward Huntington. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning goes until 5.30. Denver mentioned you at the top of the hour. Central sections of Miami County, just uh, north of Peru. So central and northern sections of Miami County, I should say. That storm right overhead, Denver. Heavy rain, lots of lightning. Again, hail and damaging winds can't be ruled out. Moving very slowly off to the southeast. Heaviest Peru, I think, stays just north of you, but will impact uh, Erie. Logansport, we've got one that's just popped up right over you. Again, heavy rain, lots of lightning. A somewhat weaker cell between Marion and Gas City. And we've got a weakening storm that is uh, near Newcastle, moving east-southeast toward Hagerstown. May impact the far western sections uh, uh, just, I think, staying west for now of Richmond, but impacting the western sections of Wayne County. The other part of the weather story today is the heat. These are feels like temperatures. Feels like 99 in Richmond. Feels like 97 in Muncie and Lafayette. Feels like 93 right now in Indianapolis. Actual air temperature in the capital city in the upper 80s. It's 88. Winds are out of the south southwest at 9. Dew point in that uncomfortable range. That's the reason it's so humid. Made it to 91 degrees, and if you're counting, that's the third day in a row in the 90s this week and the 21st 90-degree day so far this year. We'll come close tomorrow afternoon. I think we miss it for the northern half of the state, but still close to 90 in Shelbyville and Bloomington, 91 in Columbus. The cold front out to our west will be overhead tomorrow, pushing the hottest air to the southeast, but that cold front will also be the focus for some additional strong to maybe severe thunderstorms tomorrow. The cold front I mentioned is out to our west. We've got a few popping up ahead of the front, but the main boundary will get here during the day tomorrow. So some pop-up showers and thunderstorms this evening. They die down as we lose daytime heating. But as that cold front gets close tomorrow, it will trigger the chance for some additional showers and thunderstorms, especially tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. We'll stop Future Track 13 at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Main focus for the storms tomorrow will be Indianapolis east and south. Should move out in time for high school football and Operation Football tomorrow evening. It's going to be a warm evening with temperatures in the low 80s for kickoff. Tomorrow afternoon, upper 80s and low 90s, chance for storms. Not as hot Saturday, 84. Warmer, not too humid on Sunday, 88. And then we're back into the upper 80s, nearing 90 for most of next week. Another look at those storms coming for at you at 530.